Hello everyone, I just wanted to let that song ride a little bit, it's just beautiful hearing that every time. <laughs> this is of course the OSL, if you couldn't tell by the opening, that is the Bacchus OSL. And it's a round of 36, and um, this is going to be GG Play versus Quanro, we have a ZBZ. Uh, once again, this is going to be game two, and GG Play on the brink of defeat here. You can look at Quanro just kind of cockingly cocking his head over there. Cocky, just cocky. Feeling, feeling pretty good after that last win, and GG Play looking well emo as ever, like he usually does. Right. Yeah, you know, the emo hair look is very popular in Korea, although over there I don't think it's the emo hair look. I think it's the badass StarCraft player hair look. I wish that was recognized here in the U.S., um, but then again, all the emo people here, I doubt they play StarCraft, but they really should, because it's a nice alternative to c cutting your wrist. I'm gonna disagree. I don't think that's a badass oh. look. I mean, what, you got like, okay, backhoe kind of looks like that. I mean, okay. backhoes are right. I'm actually a bigger fan of backhoe than most people, but his hair is horrible. <laughs> and I think, um, GG Play's hair is also pretty horrible. Um, I don't know. Savior just... kind of has that hair too, I guess, a little bit. Yeah, but... it's not quite the Bisu hair. It's not the fine quality of the Bisu hair. Okay. Enough about hair. Uh, Quanro is going to be our Zerg in green, and uh, GG Play is there in yellow. Now, um, this is a three player map, so there's no cross positions. Uh, you're always going to be near one of the other players, and uh, which obviously would kind of force a quicker build because there's a slower path to the base. I would very much doubt we're going to see an expansion on this map, which of course is Outsider. Uh, both players are scouting in the right direction, so so far everything is going fine. Uh, no deviation on this. Um, Quanro is on his fourth game in a row, and if he could win this, it would be kind of like an OSL all kill, I guess, because he would go 4-0, and uh, that would be that would be pretty cool. Well, we saw was it Effort that went 4-0? I think Effort went 4-0 too yeah. in his group. Um, I think it, what was it like Ruby or something? But actually, I mean, being July is a pretty pretty big feat. Looks like both players just getting their Overlord up. Um, so at least gonna be an over pool, maybe even 12 pool from both players. You know what sucks? We never get to see the third map. We never get to see Return of the King. I know. You know, it's always I these know. first two. I don't even think, gosh, have we even seen Return of the King yet in the Sosa? Well, maybe in one? You're right. I totally don't remember that at all. What in the heck? The games we casted anyways. I don't even right. know if we saw it. Um, and it looks like drones being built for both players. So actually probably gonna see a 12 pool for both Mwah. players. It's an overlord kiss. Overlord kiss. It's, it's like a tentacle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to think about that. All right, so we are going to see a uh, overpool going up for both players. A uh, little later gas here for Quanro. Quite a later gas. And, you know, it's amazing how how little details can affect this. Obviously, that's not going to affect a lot because the mutalisks, uh, if they are made, you know, we could be seeing a hydralisk build. You never know, man. Come on. A man can dream. Let's see some Defiler. I'm just kidding. Obviously, that's not going to happen. I would love for that to somehow work, like one of them just go mass Hydralisks all of a sudden and just own, but, you know, it's not going to happen. Well, what you can do, I recommend, is make, like, ten Sunkens at your natural <laughs> just in front and just tech straight to Ultras. I mean, they're never going to see the Ultras coming. They're going to see all the Sunkens. They're never going to be able to, like, you get a spore, scout in there. You mean Spore Colonies, maybe? Maybe do 50 Actually, both, yeah. Half yeah. Spores, half Sunkens. Half both, you know, Winner. and just mass expand into Sauron Ultra <laughs> for the win. And look, we might be seeing something crazy here. We are seeing, well, I guess it's just an expansion to get a, a gas, putting it pretty far off there. Now, this still takes 300 minerals, though, and this is still an economic investment, although it looks like Quanro is going for an expansion as well, so... I can eat my words in saying that I wasn't expecting any sort of expansion on this. We see the lair going up for Quanro right now. Lair going up as well. Um, I, be I believe that's an expansion. Both, no. Both players super mirror builds, except that GG Play hasn't put down his expansion yet. But he's in good position this time because at least uh, he's not going to get beat, you know, by a quicker lair or anything like that. The tech is going to be about the same for both players. Both lair going up, and of course the Overlord just chilling there over right. that pumping uh, hatchery on both players, so they're going to see what's going on. Well, I think the one advantage, uh, and, and this is looking a little better as far as GG play goes, because GG play has a hidden expansion. It's going to do the same exact thing. Yes, it was a little bit later, but at this point, uh, you know, Quanro, I mean, it's hard to count drones, you know? So Quanro may have no idea that GG Play is actually going for an expansion and may think that he's going to, you know, have some sort of economic lead when they're both doing the exact same thing. So I guess ultimately in the end it doesn't mean a whole lot as far as as far as far what we're going to see here. But, uh, but I mean, you know, it, it is nice having a hidden expansion like that. We do see the Spire going up already. Was that for GG Play? Yes, it is. 
So already aspire for GG Play. So GG Play is going to have the hidden expansion and have the earlier ex uh, aspire going up. Yeah, but the thing is, hidden expansion doesn't do that much in this matchup because you got overlords hanging over both spots. So they can go off of the timing of the lair, the timing of the spire. True. Quan was going to see these a little behind tech. But he's gonna know, he, he should know, you know, with all the games that they play, that GG Play does have an expansion somewhere. Because otherwise there'd be more lings out, you know, or something. I mean, his Overlord's going right there. It's not like there's hidden lings anywhere. Um, so I, I don't think it's gonna be too big of a deal, you know, for him. The way they practice this matchup, I'm sure they get those timings down really spot on. And it looks like we're just going to wait for Spires from both players. So like you said from the last game, um, this one actually is really going to come out in a micro because it's an exact build on build. And right. considering Quanro has a higher percentage Zerg versus Zerg, 